What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to create the perfect website for your business. Everybody knows that having a website for your business, oh a lot of people know that having a website for your business is very very important. It's one of the most important things for your business because the statistics say that about 70% of people before buying any product, they will research that product and visit your website before they even do any business with you. So you want to make sure that you have a website that not only looks good, but has functionality. You want that website to be able to convert the people visiting it into sales, into leads, quote requests, whatever you're looking for from your business, you want your website to be able to be built to provide those, those results for you. So I'm going to create a part two for this video. And in the part two, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a website from scratch, how to design it, how to integrate Yobo into it, make it functional, make it beautiful, make it responsive, all that good stuff that we're gonna be talking about in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in the second video. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like so you don't miss out on that video. Uh, but it just makes it a little easier for us to kind of condense the information first into one video and then show you how to do it in the second video. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss that. And let's get on with how to create a great website. So what makes a perfect and functional website for your business? And number one is keeping it simple. I see a lot of people making the mistake of making their website too complicated. And they believe that putting more information and a lot more pictures and things on their website will make the person, the visitor, stay longer or interact more with their website, but it actually does the opposite. Having too much information on your website actually turns people off from your business because it becomes too messy, it becomes too much information. And you can think about it sort of like if you walk into a restaurant and you look at the menu and there's a thousand items on there, you're going to be a little lost because you don't know in which direction to go, you don't know where to start, you don't know what to do, there's too much information at once and it makes it harder for you to make a decision. But if you walk into like a McDonald's or a Chipotle where everything is numbered, here's number one, two, you know, choose the meat that you want, choose the add-ons that you'd like, and then, you know, finish it off with what type of item you want, whatever it may be, they make it very, very easy. And they purposely take away all of that complex information and they make it as simple as possible. And that's what you wanna do for your website. You wanna take the most major, the most important information and put it on your website. Tell a good story about yourself, but you don't have to write like a whole book or a novel about your business or your background and everything. Because you have to keep in mind when people are visiting your website, they care more about the results that they're gonna be getting from your business than your actual experience or your expertise or you know your story. It matters, but it doesn't matter as much as what you're going to be giving them. What is the result they're gonna be getting from doing business with you? And that's the most important part you need to be focusing on. One of the best ways of keeping your website simple is to actually design it in a way you would a landing page. Now a landing page is just a very simple, usually a one page website that has very specific information on it that's its main goal is to convert the visitor on there into a sale into a lead into just collecting information from them you want a result and it's used in marketing so if you put out you know a facebook ad or you have google ads out there and you're driving all this traffic you don't want them to just go to a website where there's no direction they don't know where to go it's kind of there's no really uh, really a purpose to it, right? There's no signs pointing in which way they should go. A landing page does all of that. A landing page from the top to the bottom, it directs the visitor to one decision to purchase your product or your service in this case. And what a lot of businesses have been doing is instead of just having a landing page and a website, they're just creating their website in a form of a landing page. Because if you know that people visiting your website are kind of going to be a little lost, they're gonna click out and they'll be not be really interested into your service or your product, and they're gonna find another you know business that has something that kind of gives them the information that they're looking for, then it's better just designing your entire website as a landing page that's built to convert its visitors into sales. So you don't need, you know, 10 pages and each page has its own menu with a bunch of drop down menus 
that leads people to more information. No, just condense everything into one simple, easy to use, easy to navigate, specifically an intentional website that's main purpose is to take that person that's visiting your website that's interested in your service or your product and converting them into a a lead or sale or some type of result that you're looking for. The second thing you need to do to build a really, really great website for your business is to make it responsive. The truth is that the majority of people visiting your website will not visit your website through a laptop or a computer or like a desktop. They're going to visit your website through their mobile phone because that's what everyone uses today. And if you know that most people the vast majority of people, if 90% of people that are going to be visiting your website will be visiting your business's website through a phone, you want to make sure that the experience on that phone, the design of your website is the best on the phone because that's what matters most. And a lot of times what we focus on is trying to create the best experience for, you know, like a desktop or a laptop experience. And it's not where all the traffic is going to be going to. It's going to be going to your website on the mobile phone. So design the website for your mobile screen. So the most important thing is you want to make sure that your website is responsive. And all responsive means is that as you shrink the screen or as you make it bigger, the website actually reorganizes itself for that screen size. So if I have a smaller phone with a smaller screen and someone has a bigger kind of a medium screen phone and then someone has a large screen phone you want to make sure that your website works great on all of those and to do that you have to design your website in a responsive way right so that as it grows from that smaller screen to the medium size and then to the larger screen it doesn't lose its functionality or its design and it works on all screens even tablets and desktop as the screen size grows the website also kind of molds itself into that screen size, which is very, very important. So make your website responsive. And the good thing is that the major web builders that you find on the website today, they actually have this feature built into it, right? So a lot of the websites that you guys can build on Wix or whether you build it on Squarespace or if you build it on Yobo, you can design your website so that it's responsive, right? You can design it on desktop version and when you shrink it down, it actually works out perfectly and you can move things around um, any way you'd like to make that experience better on the mobile phone. But the majority of these platforms, all of them make it extremely easy for you to create a website that's responsive. And when you think about designing your website for the mobile first experience, you start to understand that how you move through that website, right? You're not kind of looking from left to right, you're kind of looking from top to bottom, you're scrolling down into the phone. And it turns out that this experience and this design, this aspect, right, of the screen actually makes it perfect for you to create a funnel, which is which goes back to what we said in the first point, by keeping it simple and creating that land pa landing page type of experience, you can do that very, very well with a mobile experience. Because as people are scrolling down on the website, you're going to be showing them the information that they need to know. And you're also going to be directing them to take an action that you want them to take, right? The sales, you want them to put in information so you can collect them as a lead, even if they don't buy or not. You can kind of design your website as they scroll down to, to get them to that result, right? And and that's uh, one of the best things about having that mobile first experience, designing a website so that it works very, very well on the phone and having that as a focus is very important for you to have a great and functional website that will drive sales for your business and help you grow. And the third and final point is to have online booking built into your website. Now, since we're talking about a service business and not a product, right? Because if it was a product, it would be a store, right? but it's not a store. So you have to have a way to convert the people visiting your own website into a lead or sale. And the best way to do this is by having online booking or a quote request form built into your website that you can direct everyone to and lead them to creating that result for you that you want. And you can't do that with a contact form. That's what you see a lot of times on people's websites is a contact form at the bottom. And, and honestly, it doesn't, 
convert, right? Because a contact form is very outdated. It isn't designed to convert that user into a sale. It doesn't really give them any ability to customize their request and what they're looking for. And in a contact form, all you have is a space to put an email and then a box where you can write information and you're gonna get all types of crazy answers, right, from a contact form. Someone's gonna say, oh, I'm looking for this type of service, or I need something to do this, or I need something, and, and it's just like you're getting all this information, it creates way too many steps that are unnecessary, and a lot of times when people see a contact form, they won't even fill it out, because to them, and I've experienced this a lot from contacting other businesses through a contact form, you don't even get a response back. It doesn't even, right, all you get is, you know, contact form submitted. And a lot of times these emails all get buried in people's inboxes. So it turns out that, you know, uh, it, what could have been a lead actually never becomes a lead because you never even got that email and that person never got a response and they found another business to do, to do their service. So you wanna make sure you have a system built into your website that can easily convert that visitor into a sale or a lead. And the best way to do this is with online booking software that you can integrate into your business, into your website. When I first started off in my business, there wasn't any tools that allowed you to do that. There was actually one tool on the market that allowed you to do that, but it wasn't customizable. It didn't let you to um, really make it and mold it to the way that you operate your business. So in my cleaning business, I wanted a way to create an experience similar to what you would find on Angie's List or Thumbtack, right? When you're booking one of their services. And I couldn't do that. And so I decided to build it myself. And what I use for my business is Yobo. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit on how that works uh, when we go over the website. But it's a very easy way for you to allow the visitor on your website to customize their service any way they would like. You can collect all the information that you would you need from them, right? To uh, create a better quote and give them a better estimate on how much the job is gonna cost. Um, and they can do that all on your website very easily. And most important on your end, you're gonna be collecting all the information that you need and you can even set it up in a way where they have to pay to book and you're already collecting revenue from your website just from that you know first visit that that person goes on your website so online booking very important have that on your website for my business we have a mixture of booking and quote requests so because of yobo uh, allows you to really customize how uh, people interact with your booking page you can create some of the services to be quote requests and you can make it so that some of the services are bookings and this is because i have pre-packaged services that I want people to book on my website. I want them to pay first or pay a deposit and already be scheduled on uh, through my company just directly through my website. But then I also have more customized services where I would actually prefer for you to put in, customize your service, right? In, input all your information that you need, how many bedrooms you have, bathrooms, give me all the information that I need about your house and then I'll reach out to you and give you a better quote or an estimate on how much that job is gonna cost because the service that you're looking for is more custom and, and more complex. You wanna have that service as a quote request and then the other service you wanna have as a booking. Um, and so I can show you guys that as well. And I'm saying all of this because we live in a digital economy and a lot of times we might overlook the fact that the majority of people out here, they don't want to pick up a phone and call a company. They would actually prefer to do everything online. If I can buy everything that I need online, if I can buy any product that I want online, I can purchase a car online, you can buy a house online. Why can't I buy a service online? Why do I have to call the company and go through this whole conversation with them and do it when they're open, they're only open between eight and five, and then it's just, it's just so many more steps, it's too much friction, that you can remove by just having a website that makes it easier for people to get to what they want and what they're looking for easier. And that's all you want to do, right? You want to keep it simple, your website, keep it simple. Number two, you want to make it responsive. And number three, you want to have a way for people to convert them. So you want to have the online booking system built into your website. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And like I said, I'm going to be creating that part two for this video where I'm going to show you guys how to create the website like the one you see behind me. So subscribe, give this video a like so you don't miss out on that one. And I will see you guys in the next one.